Dennis van Alsloot was a Flemish painter born in 1570 in Brussels, Belgium. He was known for his landscape and genre paintings, as well as his skills as a draftsman and tapestry designer. Dennis van Alsloot was part of the Sunnian Forest School of Landscape Painters, along with artists like Jacques Diarthois and Cornelis Huysmans. This group of painters, based in Brussels, had a preference for depicting scenes from the Sunnian Forest near the city. Additionally, Van Alsloot was known for his ability to capture civil processions, local festivals, and ceremonies in his artworks. Van Alsloot's works were highly sought after by the local elite in Brussels, and he also served as a court painter. His paintings showcased his talent for capturing the beauty of landscapes and the lively atmosphere of cultural events. Dennis Van Alsloot, also known as Denijes Van Alsloot, was a Flemish landscape and genre painter, draftsman, and tapestry designer. He belonged to the Sunnian Forest School of Landscape Painters, along with artists like Jacques Diarthois and Cornelis Huysmans. This group of painters, based in Brussels, focused on depicting scenes from the Sunnian Forest, near the city. Van Alsloot was highly skilled in capturing the beauty of nature and had a particular talent for showcasing the picturesque landscapes of the forest. His paintings often featured lush greenery, meandering rivers, and charming village scenes. One of his notable works is, Winter Landscape in the Forêt de Soignes, with the flight into Egypt, which beautifully portrays the tranquility and serenity of a winter landscape. Apart from landscapes, Van Alsloot was also known for his depictions of civil processions, local festivals, and ceremonies. His attention to detail and ability to capture the vibrant atmosphere of these events made his works highly sought after by the local elite in Brussels. During his career, Van Alsloot was employed as a court painter, creating artworks for the nobility and aristocracy. His talent and skills were recognized and appreciated by his patrons, who valued his ability to bring life and beauty to their surroundings. One of the highlights of Van Alsloot's career was his specialization in tapestry design. He created intricate designs that were woven into luxurious tapestries, adding a touch of elegance and sophistication to the interiors of grand houses and palaces. Van Alsloot's paintings not only captured the physical beauty of nature but also conveyed a sense of harmony and tranquility. His works often depicted figures engaged in peaceful activities, such as skating during carnival or enjoying a leisurely stroll in the forest. Despite the challenges and disruptions caused by the French Revolution, Van Alsloot continued to create art in his later years. His dedication and passion for his craft were unwavering, and he even achieved recognition in his old age. In 1796, at the age of 80, Van Alsloot won a government competition, showcasing his enduring talent and skill. His achievements did not go unnoticed, and he was honored by Napoleon Bonaparte, who made him a senator. Van Alsloot's influence extended beyond his own generation. As an artist and teacher, he inspired and mentored many talented individuals, including François-André Vincent, Jean-Antoine Theodore Girist, Jean-Baptiste Regnault, and Joseph Benoit Suvi, among others. In conclusion, Denis van Alsloot was a versatile and influential Flemish painter, draftsman, and tapestry designer. He belonged to the Sunnian Forest School of Landscape Painters and was highly skilled in capturing the picturesque landscapes of the forest. Van Alsloot's attention to detail and ability to depict the vibrant atmosphere of civil processions, local festivals, and ceremonies made his works highly sought after. Additionally, he excelled in tapestry design, adding a touch of elegance and sophistication to interiors. Despite the challenges of the French Revolution, Van Alsloot continued to create art and achieved recognition, even being honored by Napoleon Bonaparte. His influence extended beyond his own generation, inspiring and mentoring many talented individuals.